Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 16. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to use the distributive property to find related multiplication facts. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently. We will use math in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can break a larger fact into two smaller facts to solve it. What is distributive? When you break apart a larger expression into two smaller expressions and add the two products together, that is the distributive property. Draw an array to match the expression. So our expression is five times four. That's five rows of four. It should look like this. One, two, three, four, five rows with one, two, three, four in each row. This is a five by four expression array. Draw a line under the array, then add one more row of four. Like this. Now we have one, two, three, four, five rows plus one row, and they each have four in a row. So the expression for this one row would be one row of four, or one times four. Now write a new expression to match the whole array. So we want to put one, two, three, four, five, six rows of one, two, three, four in each row. That's the whole array. Six times four, that's the expression. What do you notice here? We can use the distributive property to find the product of six times four. We can say that five rows of four plus one row of four is equal to six rows of four. In other words, five times four plus one times four equals six times four. Now we can say that five times four plus one times four equals six times four and 20 plus four equals 24. I've made an addition problem stacked down here with the 20 plus four. Zero plus four is four. Two plus nothing is two. So the answer is 24. That's the distributive property. Use five times four to find the product of eight times four. Hmm, how could we do that? Well, first we would want to draw a five times four array. There are five rows with one, two, three, four in each row. But we need to find the product of eight times four. So how many more rows do we need to add? Let's count up from five to get to eight. Six, seven, eight. We need three more rows to get to eight. Five rows of four plus three rows of four is equal to eight rows of four.
we can say that 5 times 4 plus 3 times 4 equals 8 times 4. So now we just need to find the product that goes with each expression. What's 5 times 4? What's 3 times 4? Add them together and we can get the product of 8 times 4. So we know that 5 times 4 is 20. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. We know that 3 times 4 is 12. 4, 8, 12. And we know that 20 plus 12 equals 32. We know that because we added 20 plus 12 equals 32. That tells us that this larger unknown factor is equal to 32. Okay, let's put this into practice with a read, draw, write question. Remember, the RDW process is going to be used with every word problem. It helps us to really think through how we got to our answer and be able to answer it to the fullest extent possible. So we begin by reading the question and finding the most important information. We follow that by drawing a picture of a math model or equation to solve the problem. Finally, we write the answer as a sentence. We're going to do this one together. You may follow along at home with a paper and pencil, a dry erase board, or you can go on to jamboard.google.com and draw on a virtual whiteboard, just like I'm going to do now. Okay, while I read the question, I want to get a pen tool and mark up anything that seems important. So while I read, I'll be marking things like numbers and anything that tells me, helps me to solve the problem. Liza draws an array to represent five times four and solves the equation five times four equals 20. Then she adds four more rows of four to the array. Write a multiplication equation for the rows Liza added. Then write an expression to represent the whole array. Use the distributive property to solve for the product. Okay, so I know she starts with five rows of four, and then she adds four more rows of four. So I want to know how many rows does she have in all, right? I'm going to write a multiplication equation for the rows Liza added because I already have an equation for the ones that she began with. Then I'm going to write an expression to represent the whole array and use the distributive property to solve for the product. Okay, let's try this together. So I'm going to bring up my web browser and I'm going to type jamboard.google.com. If you want this link, it's in the description box below, jamboard.google.com. Awesome. Okay, next step is to click on the plus sign to bring up a, a new clean Jamboard. And I'm going to click on the pen tool and choose my color. I'm going to write in red. Okay, next I want to go back to the question so that I can get the precise information that I need. She has five rows of four and she adds four more rows of four. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four. 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 Okay, she, that's how much she begins with. That's five rows of four. And I already know from the question that five times four equals 20. I also know that Liza adds four more rows of four. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I ran out of room at the bottom. So now I need an equation for how much she added. I have four rows of four. Let's count by fours four times. 
4, 8, 12, 16, 4 times 4 equals 16. Okay, this is what we have so far. Let's look back at the question. It says that she has five rows of four. She added four more rows. Write a multiplication equation for the rows lies I added. I did that. That's four times four equals 16. Then write an expression to represent the whole array. That's next. So the whole array has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows of four. Okay. I'm just going to put a bracket to point to what I'm referring to there. All right. And next it says use the distributive property to solve for the product. So I know that nine times four equals five times four. plus four times four. So that tells me that nine times four equals the product of five times four plus the product of four times four. We've already figured this out. Five times four equals 20 and four times four equals 16. Now, some of you could probably easily add those together in your head mentally, and that's awesome. You should be able to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and write it out just for the purposes of being able to illustrate what I've done. We wanna be as clear as possible when we're answering a math problem. Okay, zero plus six is six. Two plus one is three. So now I know that nine times four equals 36. Equals 36. Okay, I think I've answered everything. I'm gonna go back to the question one more time just to make sure. I've got five rows of four, I added four more rows. I wrote a multiplication equation for the rows that were added, an expression to represent the whole array, and I use the distributive property to solve for the product. Okay, I think I've done everything. The only thing left to do is the W part, is answer in a sentence. So going back to my Jamboard, I'm going to say nine times four equals 36. I solved five times four and four times four, then added the product together. I found that 20 plus 16 equals 36. Okay, so I've answered in words to the best of my ability going to save that, make sure I put it somewhere that can be read. Okay, so that's the question, the answer that I came up with. I'm going to look back at the answer key now to see how close I was. Remember, I need the same ideas, but I don't have to answer in the same words. It's only however I can write it out to the best of my ability. Okay, answer. Liza added four times four equals 16. The whole array has nine rows of four, so nine times four. And I know that 20 plus 16 equals 36, and nine times four equals 36. Now it's time for you to do a read, draw, write question on your own. So I will be reading this for you. Then you will pause the video and go figure it out independently. So you'll read it again. You will pick out the important information. You'll draw a model to solve for the answer. 
and then you will write out in sentence form with words what the answer is and how you arrived at your solution. And after you've done your very best, then you can look in the description box below to find the answer and compare what you wrote to what I wrote. Okay, draw an array that shows five times four. Then use the array to find the answer to six times four. Explain your strategy. Go do your very best, check the answer in the description box, and I will see you in the next video.